Well, hey friends, I am here in my kitchen and I'm going to freeze some meat. I am in the process of making dinner. I've got my ingredients on the stove cooking away. It is uh, Taco Monday, <laughs> actually. And um, I decided that I am going to freeze this meat while I'm waiting for my ingredients to cook and I thought I would share with you how I do that. So right now I have some pork loin chops and some Italian sausages that I am going to get into the freezer to freeze. So here is what I'm going to do. I have two baking sheets right here. I'm gonna lay my meat right onto these baking sheets and I'm going to put it in the freezer and I'm going to basically flash freeze it so that it is individually frozen. And then I, once it's frozen, I will put them, uh, the pieces of meat into a bag so that um, I don't have to fess with freezer paper or saran wrap or anything like that, but everything is individually portioned so that if we're preparing dinner, our family of four with two tiny little kiddos is not going to eat this entire package of sausages out in one sitting. So I can just pull the ones that we need and um, the rest can stay frozen. So that is what I am up to and I thought I would bring you along with me. I'm going to just place my garbage inside of a plastic bag and I'm going to deal with that later. Since I'm actually, I have um, food cooking on the stove and I've got dishes that I'm doing, I am not going to try and do any cross-contamination and I will take care of this all later. Um, we can actually recycle the meat trays in our area so I will clean those off after um, I'm done with everything and then I will sanitize my counters. I went ahead and washed my hands so they are clean and good to go and then we are going to work on the sausages. This is it for both trays of meat. I am going to go ahead and wash my hands and then I'm going to get them into the freezer. You're going to want to make sure that you have a level surface to place your trays on. Um, as you can see right here, I have got two bags of chicken breasts, and they are all individually frozen inside of this bag, so that I can just pull out one or two as needed. And you might need to do a bit of rearranging just while you do your freezing. So this isn't how I would typically organize my freezer, but I've got my two trays of meat in here and things are kind of moved around to hold it in place. And I will actually set myself a note to remember to check on this in an hour or two because I have been known to forget about these things. Okay, so it's later on in the evening. Dishes are done, supper is finished, kids are in bed, and I am going to continue to work on freezing some of my meat and I'll show you more of the process of what I do for ground beef. So what I'm going to start with with my ground beef is some, I've got my uh, freezer Ziploc bags here. And then what I like to do is I use my saran wrap and I like to just lay out uh, different sheets of this because what I like to do is I actually portion out my ground beef by one pound lumps. I have a food scale right here I have a plate on top and I just put the ground beef on top of the plate so that I can wash the plate and it's good to go. Um, and then I can weigh it out to make sure that I really am getting one pound amounts. So let's get started. So I've got three saran wrap sections laid out right now. I think that's going to be enough for the amount of beef that I have. And now I'm just going to go ahead and move it over here and begin the process. And 
Another thing that I like to try and do is to only have one hand that I use to actually touch the raw meat so that I have one hand that's free that uh, I can turn on my faucet or pump my hand soap and stuff like that without trying to cross contaminate. So I've got one pound already done and I do try and be as exact as possible with this. You certainly don't have to do that, but for me it just makes the most sense to try and get my ground beef to stretch as much as possible. Now I am at the end of my package here, and I have a feeling that I'm going to be very, I might just go over a pound. Yeah, so I am at 1.67. So this one is roughly about a pound and a half. So I can eyeball that and tell um, when it comes to my packages of meat. I don't label it any different. Okay, so this is my meat hand and this is my dry hand. Okay, so this is the meat hand and this is the clean hand. And with my clean hand, I am going to go ahead and I am going to move up my saran wrap and I like to push. the meat and get it as flat as possible, making sure that it's all sealed. The flatter that you can make it is actually better for freezing. It'll freeze a lot quicker and more evenly. If you just froze this entire lump, um, it's the middle is not going to freeze for quite a while. You'll have the outside frozen and then the inside will still be raw and it'll take a lot longer. So you want to make sure that your meat is getting frozen as quickly as possible. So pressing it flat will actually save you space in your freezer and it will allow your uh, meat to freeze quicker. So another way to actually do this process with freezing your meat is to put these packages inside of smaller freezer bags. Um, that is the way that I used to do this, but I find that this is a lot more economical for me. So I have my Ziploc bag here and I have a Sharpie and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write on here what is in this bag, how many pounds, and the date. So I've labeled my bag here with the Italian sausages and the date. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to place my frozen sausages inside the bag. When you pull this out of the freezer, they're super stuck to your baking sheet. You can lightly run the bottom of your pan under some hot water. You want to be careful though that your meat doesn't actually fall off at, like, when it unthaws, so just be really careful with that. Or you can just pull them out and allow them to sit on the counter for a couple minutes to kind of just begin that initial thaw. Of course, it's just you just want a couple minutes. You don't want them to completely thaw. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get these in here. So here they are all in the bag. I've pressed out as much air as possible. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside and I'm going to finish up the pork loin chops. are just going to want to sanitize your countertops. I'm using these Clorox disinfecting wipes. I will use these on my freezer handle, um, on my sink, my hand soap pump counters, my food scale, my saran wrap box, and anything else uh, that I feel like has been touched by meat. <laughs> 